All right, this is hickory bark. This is a shag bark hickory. Can you come a little closer? Get to see the bark. Show the bark. See how it's flipping off? I, I did another video on this earlier, but right up here, what you do, you ask permission of the tree first. You say, you know, hi, can I, would you mind if I take some of your bark? Just take these parts, okay? Show what I'm doing, all right? And these parts. Now, some of these pieces have lichen on them. And all you're gonna do is peel that off. You can scrape it off like with a potato scrubber or something. But I'm just getting enough to make a batch of shag bark hickory syrup because my son says it's the best thing in the world. And uh, let's see, I'm probably gonna get a little bit more than that. I'll make like a quart worth of syrup. And this is a good tree because it's a nice, it's a nice little one. But I'm collecting the, the, the bark. Ah, can you show breaking it, honey? Look down here. There. You just snap it right off, okay? And that's what I'm going to take home. What's up? I got a pan out. That's the bark we collected. All right, so if you see chunks of, like, lichen on it, I would pick those off. I'm just throwing them in the compost over here. Just kind of using my fingers to rub the lichen off. Because it doesn't help the flavor really any. You can scrub it if you need to, but see, I basically just peeled it off. So, dumping it all off onto the pan, checking for big chunks of lichen and scraping them off with my fingers. And I'm gonna roast this in the oven uh, at 350 degrees for about uh, 15 or 20 minutes. All right, this is done roasting. It smells so good when it's done roasting. I have this small little pot and I think it's like a two quart, something like that. I just put some water in it. Um, wait, burner, yeah. Turning my burner on. I'm just, ah, that's it. So, um, here. So you can see, breaking up all the uh, bark, putting it in there. Like that. And then you just simmer that for about half an hour. All right. It's been simmering like this for about you know, 15, 20 minutes, something like that. And I've got out my sugar, so let's make the syrup. All right, this is how I do it. I've got the uh, pot right here. Pour it in this jar. Remember, it's not syrup yet. It's just it's just the uh, bark water, basically bark decoction. But I pour it into this nice quart-sized mason jar because then bark goes in the compost, but um, then I know exactly how much um, water liquid I've got. So it's just above the, uh, what is that, 2.25 ounce line. I need a bigger pot this time, but the liquid goes into the bigger pot. And then I use this to measure the sugar. Okay, I lied. I used this because I realized that this is wet and I just don't want to go get another one. But that much sugar is just over two and a half cups. So I'm going to pour it. It looks like a lot. And it is a lot. It's a lot of sugar. But we're making syrup. So, you know, that's how this goes. And I'm turning the burner on. Stirring. Stirring. You can actually, if you look close, you can see little tiny bits of uh, black flecks in there. That's itty bitty teeny weeny little chunks of um, hickory bark, but eh, screw it. We're not going to die. There she blows. Look at that. It's beautiful. Let's see. I don't know. Can I pour this without uh, breaking anything?
It's a tiny little jar. Tiny jar. Is this gonna work? Oh fuck, that's not gonna work. There we go. And that is our hickory bark syrup. And it goes in the fridge. And it, um, it only lasts like a month, maybe two months. Uh, you gotta be careful. Depends if your jar is clean or not, but it is freaking delicious. Um, the best thing to put this on is buckwheat pancakes.